Okay, so I want to uh, explain how to tell if a point is a local maximum or local minimum. Um, so in the last video, we saw that if the derivative at C, so if the derivative at C exists and is not equal to zero, then the, the point cannot be a local maximum or minimum. So this is no max or min. And so we can assume that f, either f prime of c equals zero or f prime of c is undefined. So it does not exist. So we can assume this. And that we call these types of points critical points. Okay, critical points. So by the last video, we can assume that we're at a critical point. Okay. So I'm going to assume that either my uh, function has a zero derivative at this point or the derivative doesn't exist. And now I want to know, okay, if we're in this situation, is the point a local max, or is it a local min, or is it neither, right? It could be neither. And there's two ways to do this. The first one is called the first derivative test. And the second one is called the second derivative test. And um, each of these tests, for this one, I'm going to look at the first derivative. For this one, I'm going to look at the second derivative. And the, what the derivative says tells me if the, if, the, uh, if the point is a local max or a local min or neither. OK, so let's think about what happens um, to the first derivative if, so let's say this point is c, so maybe the derivative is 0 here, um, or undefined. And I'm going to make a sign chart for f prime. So this is a sign chart for the first derivative. And let's say, like, let's say my sign chart goes from negative to positive. That means the function was decreasing. This point C happened, and then the function was increasing. So it might look something like this, decreasing. Maybe the slope is 0 at C, and then it's increasing. Or maybe it's something like it's decreasing, the slope is undefined at C, and then it's increasing. Right? Something like that. And in this case, what does this look like to, to me? This looks like this is going to be a local min. So the first derivative test says if the derivative changes from negative to zero to positive or from negative to undefined to positive, then this point C is a local minimum. If, on the other hand, it's the opposite, so if it changes from positive to negative, then the function might look like this. It's positive, maybe it's zero at C, and then it's negative. The function is increasing, maybe the derivative is undefined at C, and then it's decreasing. The first derivative test says if this happens, if the first derivative changes from positive to negative, then this is a local max. This is a local max. And then um, what else could happen? Well, it could, it, the function could go from increasing to increasing. If this happens, the function might look like this. It's going to be neither a max or a min. Or it could go from decreasing to decreasing in which case the function might look something like this. And in this case, there's also going to be no max or min. So the first derivative test says that in these cases, then neither is happening. So neither. So you don't have either a max or a min. So the first derivative test, basically, you just have to look at what is happening to the sign of, of the derivative between before c and after c. So if it goes from negative to positive, it's a minimum. If it goes from positive to negative, it's a maximum. And if it goes from positive to positive or negative to negative, so if the derivative does not change sign, then it's, it's neither. Because it's either strictly increasing or strictly decreasing, so you can't have a kind of a, a max or a min. OK, so this is the first derivative test. Um, this one is more useful than the second derivative test. But the second derivative test also uh, can tell you something. So the second derivative test, it says, what it says is, let's look at a sign chart for uh, f double prime. So f double prime. Uh, and and what, what this test uh, says is, instead of looking at what's happening before and after, we need to look at what's happening right at this point. And it says if, uh, it basically, it, it says what's happening if the sign of, of the second derivative um, uh, is positive or if it's negative. 